So today I'm going to talk about side saddle shell holders for your shotgun. On my Mossberg, I've been running a, an ATI that holds five shells and a Tac Star that holds four shells. Let's talk about the ATI Shot Force. I have this side saddle mounted to the side of an ATI collapsible stock, but really there's no reason why this shouldn't easily mount to any collapsible shotgun stock. Now the first thing that you install is you install a polymer mounting plate and then you install your shell holder to the mounting plate. And as you can see, the shells are a good distance away from the side from the top of that stock. So by having this shell holder on here, it really doesn't affect your ability to get a good solid cheek weld on that firearm. Now the shell holder itself is a little flimsy. And to keep the shells in the holder, I prefer to have the brass upward, so then you have gravity working with you to keep the shells in there. And the other reason, though, why I like to keep the brass upward is so that it's really easy to use the shell holder to direct feed the chamber. So it makes it simple to, you know, do a slug changeover on the go. Now, even though the ATI has a little bit of a lower quality, one of the nice things about it is that it comes with a lifetime guarantee. And if you look at the top here, you can kind of see that, or if you look at any uh, side saddle in general, all, all side saddles stick a good distance out from the side of the firearm. And because of that, they get knocked around, they're going to break. In your lifetime, you're going to break some shell holders. That's just the way it is. So what's nice about this, even though it does have a lower quality and whatnot, when you break it, you just get it replaced. No big deal. The shell holder is a lot thicker and it has a really good retention and the actual mounting plate itself, it's not polymer, it's metal. Of course I have the model that only holds four shells and the most popular is going to be the one that holds five shells. But I do have one warning about the one that holds five shells. The, the extra length on that model can actually interfere with some forearms and prevent you from being able to cycle rounds. Now, the way that most people remedy that is that they dremel a piece of their forearm so that they can cycle the gun properly. And I know people who have done it, but in my personal experience, I just didn't want to get into that. So I went with the one that holds four shells. So if you want to avoid that situation entirely, if you get the four shell holder, you should be all right. The retention on this is really good, so I really haven't had any problems keeping the brass downward, and it makes it really easy to feed that mag tube. Now for the installation of the Tac Star, you'll need to replace two components on your shotgun. One is the takedown pin, and the other is that screw down inside the receiver. Although you have to replace some components, the overall installation process is really easy and you can have this thing mounted in less than a few minutes. So there's a look at the Tacstar and ATI Shot Force side saddles. They're not the highest quality, but they do the job. As always, be safe and thanks for watching.